Here's everything coming to the Shadow Society Collection event in Apex Legends, including the new Cobalt Katar Heirloom and another new box skin, plus a bunch of nerfs and buffs to the Legends. Beginning on March 26th will be the new Shadow Society Collection event that will feature 36 limited time event skins and cosmetics. This event will work similar to the Final Fantasy event and the Buster Sword, where you'll be guaranteed the Heirloom, which can work on any Legend, once you unlock all 36 of the event items. There is a chance that you would be able to get it beforehand, but it's not likely. There will be no iconic skins this time around, but 14 legendary skins for Revenant, Ballistic, Horizon, Bloodhound, Mad Maggie, Lifeline, the G7, the Volt, Eva 8, the Car, R301, the Flatline, and the 3030 Repeater. The pack prices in the event will work the same as the Final Fantasy event where they start off cheaper, then increase more and more as you unlock additional packs. Once you do unlock the Cobalt Qatar Universal Heirloom, you will actually be able to customize this however you want down the road. You'll be able to change the blade, handle, and power source in the middle of it. There will be more custom customization options later on that you can purchase to make the heirloom unique to you. Now Apex is classifying the Cobalt Qatar as the first of the Apex artifacts that will be coming to the game. Since we've heard recently that legend specific heirlooms are scrapped as of right now, we can expect more universal heirlooms like this artifact releasing in the future. In this event will also be milestone rewards where you can get exclusive weapon charms, hollow sprays, emotes, and a brand new box skin known as the Tax Collector. We also have the reward shop returning where you can unlock different items that you want including event packs, regular Apex packs, weapon skins, charms, battle pass stars, and more. Also releasing during this event is a brand new LTM known as Lockdown, and this will be a four squad free for all type of battle. You'll need to look for capture zones, which will spawn throughout the various mixtape maps. You'll need to hold these zones to earn points, and the first squad to 500 points wins. Also releasing in this update are some patches and changes to weapons. Now during the first set of care packages that drop during Battle Royale, these will no longer be red tier weapons. Instead, they will be gold weapons. The reasoning for this from the devs is because they've seen early care package weapons feeling disproportionately strong and will now be offering gold weapons instead of the red tier ones during the early game. The car has been nerfed with ADS recoil being increased. The EVA 8 has been updated. Blast pattern has been tightened. Initial projectile size has increased. There's been improved handling, but the ammo has been reduced to 64 all the way down from 96. The rampage's energized time has been slightly reduced to match the animation and the wingman gets nerfed again in the care package. Ammo has decreased from 90 down to 72. We know that you can no longer equip the digi threat on it, but now you can actually change that optic if you want. There are also a bunch of changes to legend perks. Now Ballistic is getting a new perk known as Speedy Whistler where he gets a speed boost for successful hits with his tactical. Bangalore overall gets slightly nerfed with her ultimate cooldown being increased and her tactical being heavily nerfed. She has a new perk replacing her Big Bang perk where her cooldown is reduced by 5 seconds. Bloodhound's Odin's Glare perk has been moved to level 2 and their tactical cooldown perk has moved to level 3. Caustic's gas damage now increases by 1 each tick and the slow effect only applies on the first damage take for two seconds. His Particle Diffuser perk has moved to level three and his Residual Toxins perk has moved to level two. Conduit gets nerfed with her tactical increasing by five seconds and her regen interruption delay time has doubled. Fuse's Reckless perk has gotten a slight buff where explosive damage is now reduced by 50% instead of 25%. Lifeline's perks got seriously nerfed. Her care package perk that would spawn a red tier weapon now only spawns gold items and it doesn't look like a weapon is even included in that. You can get an Evo Cash, a gold knockdown shield, a gold backpack, and one shield battery, one med kit, and then either a Phoenix kit or a mobile respawn beacon. Octane got the same perk change that Fuse got and so did Pathfinder's Zipline Zen perk. Revenant got absolutely nerfed. When in his ultimate, Nox no longer refreshes tactical. His tactical cooldown is also no longer shorter during his ult and his ultimate has been increased by 60 seconds. His agile assassin perk has been removed and replaced with an ultimate cooldown perk instead. His tactical cooldown perk has moved to level 3. Seer's perks got changed but no one cares about Seer so we are moving on. Wraith's perks have changed a little bit where her tactical cooldown moved to level 3 and her ultimate cooldown moved to level 2. Broken Moon unfortunately is coming back but only in pubs, and ranked will still be Stormpoint, Olympus, and World's Edge. There's honestly so much releasing with this update. Let me know down below if you guys are excited for the new Cobalt Qatar heirloom and what you think of the overall event. Subscribe for more Apex Legends content.